All right, this is a follow-up on part four, which is uh, how to uh, locate your property lines and survey pins using Google Earth. So I, as I showed in the video on part four, I zoomed in down on my house. I pinned, put a Google Earth pin for my west pin, my east pin, and then what I call the north stake. Because I know there's not supposed to be a pin there, but maybe there's a stake. I've got my uh, got a metal detector here that uh, should be able to find one of the pins at least, and I've got my GPS Garmin 65S, and you can see with the GNSS, which is Global Nav -like Navigating Satellite System, something like that, six feet and it should get us pretty close. So here's the list for each pin and that stake based on what I had on the part four measurements. So let's go over using these as our numbers and try to find some of these points. So the first one I'm gonna do is the east point, which is the, if you look at the least significant uh, seconds it's 42.51 and 16.14 let's go over there all right pretty close 42.52 and 16.17 so about right at this spot it's about six feet off of the road about in line where I expect it let me uh, put the GPS away and I'm going to turn on the metal detector and we'll see if we get some beeping here. Alright, see when it says iron on there? That means it's got metal there. I'm not going to dig it up, but that looks like the spot I was looking for. Let's go look for that stake. Alright, for that stake we're looking at 4392 and 1777. 4392, 1777. And it's up in the woods there. I'm kind of cheating because I already walked this earlier. And you can see I spray painted the stake. So let's take a look at the reading on our GPS. So according to the GPS, we're at 4404 and 1791. And we were looking for 4392 and 7777. So I'm going to move the GPS till I get that reading, see how close we really are. All right, we're pretty close. We're 43, 87, 86, and 1777. And if I look over where my stake is, I would say that's around 10 feet away. So that either means, because they don't set these stakes based on the GPS, uh, but we were using the GPS Google map to identify that point and the point that it actually identified is where I'm standing which is 10 feet away from that point so that's about what even with a good GPS um, you're probably gonna get so be just be aware of that this is a good GPS supposedly down to six feet of accuracy and uh, you can tell I'm 10 feet away from wherever that pin on Google Earth said that stake should be. So, anyway, that was interesting. Thanks for watching.